everyone. So, about two weeks ago, a black football player in England collapsed during a game. As a response, some idiot young uh, university student started tweeting these horribly racist things. Um, and as a result, he got taken to court. Uh, because they have, in England, they have this uh, it's, uh, incitement to racial hatred law or something like that. And as a result, he's going to jail for 52 days. And he's going to have a criminal record and the rest of it, obviously. Um, now, as a cultural Marxist, of course, I find this excellent. Not really. It's uh, terrible stuff. And the thing is, I... I honestly like the problem with creating such a law you know the like the incitement to racial hatred law is you might think it's a good idea you might think well what we're trying to do is to make sure that we don't have someone inciting racial hatred in some big way like maybe Stormfront publishing newspapers or something now I don't personally think that really like arresting people for what they say is generally a very good approach um, but an even greater problem is that if you introduce such a law and you don't make it really specific and you leave it up to the judges uh, kind of the judges um, opinion on whether it applies or not then you're gonna have people who get put in jail for 52 days for a bunch of tweets. Now this isn't a celebrity, this isn't I don't, a politician, this is just some random idiot guy who tweeted something. Tweeting is like the lowest form of media. It is just like saying something it takes less effort to tweet something than to say something. You can't hold people responsible to the extent like they've just, I don't know, written it on a stone tablet and handed it down um, like Moses. It, it It's a tweet. You can't put people into jail for tweeting stupid, bigoted things. I mean, in Australia, my guesstimation would be that about... 10% of the population would have similarly vile thoughts. Now, most of those are hopefully smart enough to not say them out loud. Um, although, probably in many cases, they're just not on Twitter. Um, but the thing is, we can't start, you know, where will this end? We can't start putting people in jail for that kind of stuff because we can't really have 10% of the population in jail um, because that's millions of people. Um, and surely if this guy uh, deserved to go to jail for saying what he believed, which was kind of stupid, um, then there would be all of these other people that probably should also go to jail or re-education camp. And that's not a good idea. First of all, because I don't really think it's just. Second of all, because otherwise a lot of reality television shows would not have an audience. And um, that would really hurt commercial television. This is not the kind of problem that we can deal with via the uh, justice system. If we're going to put people into prison for being bigoted or idiots or both... Um, we're going to have to put a huge number of people into prison. And most of those people are probably, um, they're probably chronic idiots. So they're going to be lifelong prisoners. Um, you know, maybe you would cut off their fingers so they can't tweet anymore or something. I don't know. That's probably the only way to make sure this is not the correct solution. This is a very, very bad solution to a very serious problem. The very serious problem is that there are a lot of racists and bigots. Despite all of the things we know, there is still a huge amount of these people. Um, unfortunately, of course, governments encourage a lot of this bigotry by their anti-immigrant kind of rhetoric 
Um, so if you want to put anyone into prison for uh, inciting racial hatred, it should be those guys because they get a big audience. And it's that message that's actually trickling down and then some poor sod who's not smart enough to phrase it correctly puts it on Twitter and gets put into prison for 52 days with a criminal record. And this is not the way that society should be managing problems. It should not be a question of putting people into jail for saying the wrong thing. And I don't know why anyone has to actually say that. It should be pretty obvious. And I know it's it's the UK. It's not the US. The US is actually, I mean, I have lots of complaints about everything that goes on in the US. But at the same time, I have lots of complaints about whatever goes on everywhere. And every place has its own kind of set of problems that are very significant. The US gets a partial pass on this because I don't think this kind of, I mean, at this point in time, this can't happen in the US. And it's very important that the US maintains its strong stance on freedom of speech. But a lot of other parts of the world the developing world really need to learn from this um, because it's just creepy and dangerous to allow this kind of stuff to happen and I mean England has a big history of this and whilst people will come in and say you know oh PC culture it's all those Marxists and their their political correctness my interpretation is slightly different and I mean I'm not gonna provide any big evidence you can interpret it either way maybe it is political correctness gone mad but my interpretation is that this is part of this idea that you can just solve every problem by applying tougher punishments uh, because I mean that's what's going on in England and in the US you have a problem, you have a social problem, you have poor people or whatever, you hit them as hard as you can with punishments if they do anything that's considered unacceptable like stealing or saying something wrong and then the problem will go away and in England they have lots of these things like the I mean I think they they got rid of those, the ASPOs, the antisocial behavior orders where they could basically tell you not to do something and then if you did it it would become a crime and that something could include include anything including legal stuff so in my view at least the problem isn't that we're being too politically correct the problem is that we're thinking that we can solve all of society's problems by m holding people legally accountable and putting them in prison when they misbehave which i as a cultural Marxist not really but you know that's the label that would be applied to me by a lot of people if they listen to me talk I think that's horrible I think we should be looking for the societal roots of these problems racism uh, petty crime all of these things drug taking uh, and we should address those